Selam YouTube hepiniz hoş geldiniz. Bugün sizlerle beraber The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC'sine kaldığımız yerden devam ediyoruz. Şimdi bu e, peşinde olduğumuz vampirin e, bu gördüğümüz yer neresiyse oraya gideceğiz işte. Onu bulmaya çalışacağız. Onun hakkında ipucu bulmaya çalışacağız. Şimdi hemen çıkalım. Şuradan ışınlanma noktasına gidelim. Bütün soru işaretlerini açmak gerçekten çok önemli bir şey. Açınca böyle çatır çatır her yere ışınlanıyorsun. Rahat bir şekilde. Ve güçleniyorsun. Para sıkıntı kalmıyor. Her şeyin oluyor. Kısacası. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher, and I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to Beni the Beni döveceğiniz, ha? Gelin Var mı daha isteyen? Sen daha isteklisin gibi. Al bakayım. <gülüyor> Benim bir şey yapmama gerek kalmıyor bile ya. Onlar bana vursun yeter. Böyle yamuluyorlar. Bu iş çok iyi oldu ya. Bu iş çok iyi oldu ya. Birkaç dakika kamerayı kapatacağım. And these men, what are they doing? Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official Dutchy business. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? Birazdan açacağım kamerayı geri. Yeah. How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership where I see to the boots while you stand guard and as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow. So, what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Küçük üçgahtçı ya. Listen, I'm interested in Millet'in ayakkabılarını kirletiyormuş. Wait, wait. Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. <gülüyor> So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. 
What would you even do with that? Tam üç kartçı var ya ufak. Çekirdekten yetişiyor. <gülüyor> A proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too, new polishes, new brushes, and if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm, got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. <gülüyor> Red, yeah. Alright. Let's see if we can figure zaten. something out. Ah, Aran. see? I knew we'd para, clean para bir sürü paramız var. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. <gülüyor> Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. <coughs> now, if I might intercede, I dare say I have the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I am prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth hmm. checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? <gülüyor> With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Kesinlikle. Perhaps later. Güzeldi. Güzel muhabbet. Koşuma gitti. Well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning the right thing to bribe them with. Red door. One that Boot Black mentioned. We shall talk later. Let's find Deklav. We're close. Bakalım burada mı bizim vampir? Yüce vampir. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum, and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, <laughs> I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Haydi bakalım. İçeride ne var? Buradaymış ama gitmiş. Let's look around. Old toy. No 
news to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. Attic. Let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Hmm. Any idea what it could be? Detlove have any enemies? Indeed. Detlove gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Why, man? Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. Bence o kadın resmiyle bir ilgisi var olan olayların. Not something one associates with the kidnapped. Bu adamı kim her her kim tehdit ediyorsa bu kadın onun elinde olabilir. Ya da ona zarar vereceğini söylüyordur. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go. Accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Mm. Even if Renawed did abandon him that time. Aynen. Biri onu kaçırmış o zaman. Tahmin ettiğim gibi. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. Detlaf onu kurtarmaya çalışıyor. That's clear. As would you be for Yennefer? He kills for he cares for her deeply, and that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. This is no time for idle chatter. We must find Detlaf. Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home, from before the conjunction of spheres. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. That ran away. I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Ona bir sahire falan mı bu da? <gülüyor> Olabilir. Tanıdığım birini hatırlatıyor bana dedi Geralt. Tools were used recently. Detlaf unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, now, Geralt, must you? Oh, 
notebook, slips Shave of paper, look. name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de la Croix. Detlef's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. See the color? <clears throat> Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Detlaf's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. Bence Detlaf kötü değil ya. Actually, it is. Detlaf's being manipulated. Some lunatics turn into a tool, making him kill. Elinde bir so it would seem. ona şantaj yapabileceği bir şey var. Her kimse. O da muhtemelen bu kadın. Render the blackmail senseless. Şantajı bunun üzerinden yapıyor. Detlaf'a. That's one idea. Onun sevgilisiymiş çünkü hmm. eskiden o. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? You gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Hadi bakalım. Kontesin yanına giderim. Düş, düşeşin. Düşe, diyen var di, diyemedim. Düşesin. Yan görev açıldı mı diye baktım da açılmamış yok tamam. Şimdi gideceğimiz yer kale. O zaman şuradan hemen arkamıza dönüp. <gülüyor> hemen oraya ışığını ışınlanalım. Saraya. Şuradan çıkacağız galiba. Evet. Dur dur geri dön. Arkada arkada giriş yeri. Geldik. Geralt of Rivia. Master Witcher, I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside, got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? This is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> is this a problem? 
Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with oh, that garlic and drive hadi. a stake through its heart. Garlic's Sen useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Go ahead. Send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men at arms, but another skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guards' men in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different, unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Akamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ha. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine, or stains hmm. therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estes. Your grace wished to see me. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? 
Mmm. <clears throat> mm, yes. Yes. The, the West Bank of the Sara Tour. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair Oak. Hue deep burgundy. Clarity high. It's simple. Sans Real, the 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Ravello, especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some Sans Real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. Tama? Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you. Bu bu pisliğin içinde ben söyleyeyim ha. But bu adam her kimse bu pisliğin içinde. We Güvenmiyorum ben buna. Go. Accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of the... Bir dakika, bir dakika. Can I release tamam. you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol? In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta. Not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Yeah, ready to go. How do you get them? Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Tamam. Üst baş değiş gelsen. Ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure, but he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Rondur zırhımız eskimiş bir dakika. <gülüyor> Tamir edelim. Yıpranmış yani. Hooray! Atım? Ha burada. Go go. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Rivello. It's the best in all Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Well, now, I wish to know your thoughts, Gerard. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? 
Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the one who's just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect to be in the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full, especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your, your grace. We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask them what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. <laughs> he has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have, but any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days past, I took stock of the inventory. Uh, all was accounted for. The barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace, how am I to understand this? Master Fabricio. We have proof someone's gained access to Sonrial. <clears throat> someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but Silence! And listen, I shall inspect the barrels in person. Thus giving you time to reflect. <gülüyor> when I return, I expect to hear answers. Kadın fena ya. Remind me. Where is this on real stored? In... In the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, your grace. Here it is. Come, Kadın witch. fena fena. Acayip ya. <gülüyor> We shall wait here, Master Fabricio. What if Fabricio is blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Kadın iyil iyilik de sever bak. Adam bunun bu dışarıdaki adamın babası bütün e, şeyi yok etmiş. Mal varlığını çarçur etmiş ölmeden önce geride bıraktığı tek şey e, şarap yap yapımıyla ilgili olan bilgilermiş. O adamın elinden tutup bugünlere gelmesini sağlamış. Mesela bu. Hmm, 
Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Hmm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Pamino over here. Yukarıda var. San Real. 1270 bulacağız. O da burada bir yerdedir veya karşıdadır muhtemelen. Majesteleri önümden çekilin lütfen. Yolumu bloklamayın. Bin iki yüz altmış sekiz. Şuradaki. Bulduk. Right here. Twelve sixty nine. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. Dolu. Full. Full. This one's full too. Full. This one's full too. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Real? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Oğlum açsana. Ya. Ha. Ready. Step aside. Bir bak bakalım. O mu? So. Those hints of spice. Mm. Distinctive. This is son real. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while the Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident. I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Gel bakalım. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, 
I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorial. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He eh. was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... They <coughs> A few days passed. A messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and... Well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You will take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Ne çıkacak acaba altından merak ediyorum bu işin. Yani dediğim gibi şu ana kadarki genel etkileyicilik konusunda her Stone bundan daha iyiydi hikaye olarak. Özellikle o köşteki bölüm. O kadının yanına gittiğimiz bölüm çok güzeldi. Hayalettin resimlerin içine girip o zamana dönmek. Oralar çok güzel, çok etkileyiciydi. Hala görmedim onun gibi bir sahne. An oyunda da öyle bir sahne yoktu. Yani o kadar etkileyici yer yoktu. Şu ana kadar bunda da yok. Heh. 
hadi gelin bakayım. Elim kaşınıyordu. Bayağıdır adam doğramıyoruz. Ha gel. Var mı da? Yok. <gülüyor> Boşa yapmadık. Bu bu yıldı. That was the plan. But great shot. Kimse dokunamadı bile ya. <gülüyor> Yaratıklarda biraz zorluyor ama insanlar üzerinde çok etkili bu bu yani yaratıklar da gücümüz sayesinde zaten devam ediyoruz. Öyle mi pala bıyıklı? Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. <gülüyor> True. You are not the most endearing of men. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits near. Bu adam hakkında yanılmışız. <gülüyor> Kötü değil. O burada mı? Wait. She here? I hope you did not think I would leave this to you alone, especially when every hour could prove essential. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <coughs> Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call him. Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needs it. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? Selam. <gülüyor> sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope, kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait, great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Kraki, no! Don't let him! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! <laughs> Who kim hired you? He... He'll kill me! Ought to be worried about me right now. Ben öldürmeyeceğim sanki. Go on, man. Pamuklara Spit sarıp sarmalayacağım seni ben. The Sintrian. <laughs> That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cynthrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cynthrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, your grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. Hey. 
He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can. But this Sintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my godsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Still don't know this Sintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Yeah, no. Need to find the Sintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Sintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits eh. attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. <gülüyor> Geri bak gelsinler. Başımla beraber. <gülüyor> Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now. The port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him, he admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. Eh? There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Sintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Sintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermate claimed Cecilia is to meet a Sintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. Gotta nab the Sintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Sintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, Your Grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Ya, gene mi zırhımızı çıkaracağız? Hiç sevmiyorum zırhımı çıkarmayı. Uygun kıyafetler gel, giy de gel dedi. I should double the patrols, just in case. Audacious rat, the Sintrian. But we'll get him. Good luck. 
I hope you get the bastard. Tamam. Ben gideyim de kıyafet bulayım o zaman. Ah. Acaba nasıl kıyafetler giymemi istiyor? Onu bilmiyoruz. Bir dakika bu gümüş. Yanlış çektim dur. Ha şimdi gelir. Artık şehirde böyle saldırılar olacak bana demek ki. <gülüyor> Bizim resmimiz var. Üstlerinde. Haydi bakalım. Bu nerede ara bu? Umarım doğru gideceğiz. <gülüyor> Aynen tamam sağa döndük. Döneceğiz buradan. Sonra buradan sağ yukarıya devam edeceğiz. Tamam. Geldik. Aç bakayım nelerim varmış. Evet şimdi ne giyebiliriz? Bu güzel duruyor bak. Bence bunları giyelim. Maske gerekiyor mu acaba? Hiç öyle bir şey demedi. Thanks. Think that's all I need for now. Ever your servant. Elime giyeceğim bir şey yok mu? Yok. Thanks. Think that's all I need. Ever your servant. O zaman eldekileri çıkaracağız. Ne 
late. Now, why does that not surprise me? Bekleyelim. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Not all bad. Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... Just one other detail. Here, put it on. A mask. All who attend the Mandragora Soiree wear them. If you have one on, no one asks who you are. Let's go. Soiree's started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. Silah da bıraktık. Haydi bakalım. İçeride ne olacak? How do we find this in town? Have you a plan? He is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily hmm. by the orchid. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. <laughs> the residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Tamam. Bence bölümü burada noktalayalım. Buradan sonrasını artık önümüzdeki bölümde devam ederiz. Burası YouTube için bölüm sonu olsun o zaman. Hepinize iyi günler. Görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.